What is up, YouTube? DWK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy. If you want, my social media is like my Instagram will be in the description down below. As you guys know, Military Times is releasing this new Navy documentary, different from All Hands Magazine. This time, I told you from the first look, I kind of liked it a little bit more just because of the style of shooting and editing that they've been doing. But today, we're going to be watching Getting in the Water. As you guys know, there's a host that is a Navy SEAL. You've probably seen him on YouTube, so that's pretty dope. If you guys are looking for a host in the future, hit your boy up. Let's jump into this video. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. To some of you, that raft shit is going to be brand new. As some of you know, all right, I joined in 2014. We didn't have to do that raft thing or, like, get inside that little boat. That wasn't a thing. When uh, Back in the day, back in the day, so goddamn salty, uh, you would just swim the length of the pool, jump off a 20-foot thing, tread water. Uh, but apparently, they mixed it up. requirement in the Navy, but for many recruits, it can be a struggle. If you're going to be a... Clint Emerson. <coughs> in the water. On one one day of training, recruits come here to do their initial swim, and that consists of, first, they step from the tower. The tower is 9 feet, 10 inches high. I said 20 feet. <laughs> then they are required to swim 50 yards using one of the four swim strokes. After they complete their swim, then they will be required to do a five-minute prone float. Upon completion of that, they've gone coveralls and they inflate them in order. How many battle to she's water. has? Then they go NATO medal, Afghan, scenario, which involves teamwork and entering a life like raft. Five NAMs. The best thing that you can do for yourself to help yourself out is to get in the water and get comfortable there. We do give lessons here, but it's going to be a lot easier for you. As if you don't know how to swim, to catch on and learn faster if you're comfortable in the water. Get out! You just have to believe in yourself so you know that you can do it. And if you can't, these are some of the best trained instructors that you can find. It's the safest water. You're never more than two or three feet from an instructor who, if you are struggling and you can't make it, they're going to pull you out. Your safety is our number one concern here. Just go for it. Once you take that first step, it gets a lot easier after that. Remember, comfort in the water is an essential part of passing recruit training. So if you can't swim now. Surprisingly, there's a lot of dudes in Navy boot camp who don't know how to swim. Get in, get wet, and get ready. So you mean to tell me not everyone was a lifeguard before joining the Navy? I thought that was a prereq. You guys, alright? It's not my fault. I was a lifeguard before I joined the Navy, and this thing was extremely easy to me. All right? There's going to be kids who literally, like, half drown and then get pulled out. <laughs> They're not going to let you drown, but you know what I mean. I, I, guess it's, I guess it's, like, a weird thing because, you know, I just grew up with a pool. All right, now I'm just stunning on you guys. If you guys enjoy this series, get ready for part three because it is not on YouTube. Apparently, it was Strike Down or something, but there's a part four. So if you see part four next, just know that part three never got re-uploaded. I'll see you guys in the next one.